On Take 5, Miguel Arias talks about running for city council. I've met with just about every candidate who's declared a candidacy. The last six months, I've made it a point to have coffee, have dinner with them, ask them about what their priorities are and how they see the district. And I haven't been convinced that they have studied the issues deep enough, that they are willing to champion what's most critical for the area. So I, I feel responsibility to step forward. There's nothing that I'm ashamed of or there's nothing that I'm concerned about. I've been in the public venue for 20 years. My emails have been submitted through public records for more than a decade. My campaign forms have been filed. You see that I don't walk away from any question that is posed before me. I do anticipate that there'll be some of those folks who are very good at tearing people down, but have never led. You know, Mark Arax is a great writer, but he's never had the responsibility to actually make decisions and lead. I don't think a thousand officers is enough. I also don't think that a thousand officers represents public safety in totality. Our fire department is extremely understaffed and under-resourced. The fire department is a first responder when it comes to, to medical calls. If a tax is, is the option, then we should pursue it. If it's not, then we shouldn't pursue it. But we ought to have that conversation. And too often I've seen us ignore and ignore that difficult conversation about what is sustainable. The mayor is a good mayor, and, and, and I'm proud that he's a mayor of Fresno, and I know he has the strengths, and my hope is to bring my strengths to the table, and his, his responsibility is pretty large. He's like our CEO in Fresno Unified. They have responsibility for the whole system, and as council members, we have a responsibility to advocate and inform his decision making as it impacts our regions. The fact that Grizzlies uh, Fest is taking place in Woodward Park is a black eye to downtown revitalization. There is no reason why Grizzly Fest should be operating in a park versus in a downtown that actually has millions of dollars invested to actually host that kind of venue.